In today's session, uh, we're looking at embedding uh, the remaining high reliability strategies in regular text that we're wanting the students uh, to learn from. Uh, I've mapped out the pathway for today on, on, on the front of, of the notes. Uh, and uh, we're going to first of all look at uh, actions the students can use to comprehend sentences, uh, the, paraphrase, the reading aloud, paraphrasing and visualising. Then uh, actions to work on paragraphs and then uh, the review and consolidation strategies. Now, I, I made a big deal last time uh, about the, the two-phase approach to teaching that we're taking, uh, that we're really pushing, first of all, that the students are, are scaffolded for some part of any lesson to actually put in place uh, the, uh, the ways of thinking. In other words, if I'm wanting students to uh, paraphrase a text to read one or two sentences and then to say it in their own words. Initially, in my teaching, I'm going to have to cue them to do that. And I'm also going to te have to teach them how to do it. So, and, and we'll unpack this a bit further, but uh, with, with the scaffolding, initially, there's going to need to be uh, the, the opportunity for the kids to learn how to do the actions uh, associated with paraphrasing or associated with visualising. We can't simply assume that if I say to a group of kids, you know, visualise, make a picture in your mind, that they can do it automatically. And the second aspect of the teaching uh, that I've mentioned there is guiding the students to use each of the actions independently. And so it's, it's really important that bit by bit uh, the students learn to do this very, uh, you know, very gradually, learn to do it by themselves. Uh, we're, we're going to want them to be able to take the uh, comprehending actions away from us and to use them when they're studying at home, uh, when they're reading text at any point, when, when they're doing nap plan, when they're uh, studying for their VCE uh, or whatever. So th th this approach to teaching, and I'll discuss it further today, it, it's a really important approach. It's really requiring us as secondary teachers to be very, uh, and, and it's probably a, a different role for us, or for most of us at least, it's really requiring us to be interventionist in, in how the children are actually thinking about the ideas that we're teaching. Uh, if we don't do that, we're not going to change their ways of thinking and their ways of learning. And we're basically not going to change their levels of literacy uh, either. We, we, we'll pursue that a, a bit more again today. Uh, along those lines, we need to do some of these things uh, in, in, in a pretty clever way. Um, I, I was working in Orbost Monday, you know, just the last few days, and one of the teachers at Orbost Secondary College on Tuesday night said, um, uh, you know, I went, when I went into my class today and asked them to get their knowledge ready, <laughs> they all groaned and said, not again. Um, you, 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 you've got to do this uh, pretty, you've got to think through how you're going to do this. Because my first reaction to the teacher was, well, when you said to the kids, pick up the, your pens, did they all say not again? Um, we, we really want these uh, ways of thinking to become ways of learning that are almost equivalent to picking up your pen and writing or to, or to doing anything else in, the, uh, in, in uh, the ways in which they learn. And one of the responses I gave to the, the teacher was, well, perhaps it might be an idea not to use getting knowledge ready. Just say to the kids before you begin, what do you know about this and so on. And uh, that's, that's, he thought that was a good idea. But the principal said, um, uh, uh, Heather McAllister said, but oh, no, I think they actually should know the terms of it. Because in, a, in another secondary uh, college down there, uh, in Swifts Creek Secondary College, you know, Barbara Napthine, who's principal of, of the senior campus, the school's only got 150 children, uh, got them all together 
and had all the children uh, actually from year seven to year 12 actually try out some of the strategies together. And she really aimed at having the students see that when they did these things, they could learn better. So it was really in their interest to see it. So whether or not uh, a teacher at Swifts Creek Secondary College says, get your knowledge ready, the kids know it's going to work for them. The kids know they'll remember better if they do it than if they don't. So schools, you, you need to be a bit strategic uh, about how you're going to handle this. And there is one other aspect to all of the strategies, and different schools are approaching this in different ways. When, when the teacher at uh, Orbos Secondary College said, you know, I was, going to have my, I was going to teach my students how to get their knowledge ready, you can imagine uh, for the fourth time, probably in <laughs> a few weeks, another teacher was going to teach them how to get their knowledge ready. And uh, I suggested to that school, and this is what's happening uh, in Swifts Creek, for each group of students, one teacher is teaching each of the strategies. And the other teachers are all transferring and encouraging the use in their subject areas. Is that okay? So one teacher is targeting teaching the strategies and the other teachers, when, the, when, when uh, that teacher says, oh, oh, no, the students are really working through this well, the other teachers are able then to continue that and use it in their own subject area. Now, if the kids know how to do it, when you scaffold their, uh, when you suggest that they do it, they'll do it faster and with greater efficiency. They'll, they'll get better outcomes from it. So as a teacher, if I'm teaching a group of students who already know how to get their knowledge ready, or who already know how to work out the meanings of unfamiliar words, I might still need to remind the children to do it in my subject area, but they're going to do it faster, they're going to do it more efficiently, and they're going to bring, within one or two minutes, a much better outcome to my lesson. Is that okay? All right, so you got your gone. That's a good thing. Yeah. Just to say, um, come on, let's get our knowledge ready again. And, you know, that, that, I don't think there's a problem with that. Yeah. Um, but, but, but you can imagine the kids saying, oh, you know, the fourth time. They've all been to the same PD. Yeah, but as long as it's not saying, hey, listen, kids, I'm going to teach you a new thing. It's called getting your knowledge ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think that, that, that's good, mate. Yeah. Effie? I was just going to say, another really good way of doing it, looking here at the industry, I've got is the kids come up to me and say, why don't I Yeah. And so, that seemed to really work. Yeah, no, that, 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 yeah, I think that's good, Effie. So this notion of, of letting the kids see that it'll work for them, it's really important. It's interesting because it's one thing that I've really built into this strategies approach that's not in the American strategy teaching. The regular American strategy teaching teaches the kids how to do it, not, not like what we're doing, but it, it teaches, if you look at any of the American strategy approaches, They'll, they'll teach the kids, you know, things like RIDER or the little acronyms for, you know, for uh, applying some of the strategies. But they never have the kids evaluate how they help them. And I reckon that's critical. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't move beyond that. If the kids really didn't think that these things were helping them, they're not going to buy them. They're not going to run with them. So really helping the kids see that these work for them. And I want to talk more about that today anyway.